Several readers have reported that they've had some trouble laying out the pattern for the leather seat of the campaign stool featured in the book Campaign Furniture. I'm going to show you how I did it completely from scratch. I'm not a math whiz and there are a thousand ways to do it, but this is the simplest way I could come up with. So let's start with your legs. That's how I did it. So we have these legs that are almost two feet long. And we know about how big the human butt is. And so what we can do is just set it on a piece of wood with a line on it and figure out, you know, about how wide do we want the legs to splay and about high haul, how high off the ground do we want our butts to be and does that look like someplace I could put my butt? And so when I made this precise calculation, I came up with a number of, uh, I wanted these legs to be about 16 or 17 inches apart. And so that's where we're going to begin. So I drew a line on this piece of plywood that's going to be my pattern. And these points are 17 and 3 eighths inches apart. So it's just a single line, two dots, 17 and 3 eighths. Then I took a piece of uh, offal and uh, made a simple trammel. So I drove in a nail at one point and then 17 and 3 eighths inches away I made a hole for a pencil. And this hole is just slightly smaller than 5 16 uh, in diameter to hold the pencil. And then all I do is I put the point of the nail on one point of the base, swing the arc, and then I put the nail on the other point, on the other end, swing the arc. And then I just join the intersections with a pencil. Now, as I said, there are like a thousand ways to construct an equilateral triangle, but this is the stupidest one. So it's the one that I chose. So there we have our triangle for our butt. And then the, the next thing I do is I, I want to round off the corners. Now I could make a calculation and, and swing an arc there to create a perfect radius. But instead, I use cream of mushroom soup, the foundation of Western cuisine. And just put it up here until the can is tangent to my two lines. And do that all around. And then after these lines are done, I cut this out with a saw and I create my pattern. And so this is the pattern I use and I lay it on the leather and now I can make stools all day long. Pretty simple.